up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Mythic Allegiance Siege at Bjornar <laughs> uh, Ogre Legion Builder Figure. All right, my Zillions, hope you're staying safe out there. Uh, I have a big guy to follow up, the, the, the little wee guys I did last. Um, and this is a huge Mythic Legion figure, one of their bigger figures, not quite a troll size or orc size. Is it an orc or is it a troll? I think it's troll. Uh, the big guys, I've done one of those. Uh, but I wanted this one pretty badly. I actually think this is the Legion Builder, which is uh, a more simple take. You get really one color body, one color you know, in the uh, accessories and stuff, a couple colors maybe, uh, but really it's very, very plain. It's not like super, super detailed in that regard, but I like that better because it's a little cheaper. Um, that helps <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um, so this to me is a well worth getting. He is a huge figure. I want to say like nine inches tall. Um, so very, very well worth it. So let's get into it. The Ogre comes with a couple of extra uh, wrist guards here. If you want to switch them out with those, I probably won't. I really like these those big gauntlets he has on. But they're very nice, just done in one color, which is what you're seeing here. But uh, a very nice color and obviously very nice sculpt. Comes with a couple of extra uh weapon handles here really really nice done in like a silver really great sculpts this one has like a nice tip at the end obviously we get a nice crazy quadruple bladed like axe thingy i don't even know what these are called and you, you could put that in there if you want like so or in the other one which is also very nice a very nice sculpt you could put that there so either way, you're getting a really excellent looking weapon here. Very, very cool. But I'd say the main weapon is this axe, the shorter axe. Uh, very nice, single bladed. Again, just one color, you know, a, a silver, but really nice sculpt. That's the, the theme here. Why this is a little cheaper than the uh, other ones is the fact that you're, you know, they didn't go crazy with the paint. They just gave you like really plain simple ogre legion builder with like simple weapons and accessories uh i i i'm fine with that because the sculpt and details are excellent articulation on this guy head is on a big ball joint if you could see it in there it's huge uh it gives you a pretty good range of motion there is nothing in the chest but you get a pretty good range here at the waist so lots of good movement there hinge swivel ratcheted at the shoulder single jointed elbow only gets you a little bit but it's fine hinge and uh, swivel at the wrist legs i uh, could do a full split there kicks pretty far forward back ah. that click was not it was a little scary. Um, not too much back, really. You get rotation as well in the inner thigh. Single jointed knee. Not getting a ton of motion there. Uh, you do have a swivel hinge at the foot. Oh, feels real tight on that side. This side's a little better. Probably needs a little bit of heat. Yes, definitely, you know, heat up this guy as you would, let's say, where your neck is. There is a little bit of uh, ankle rocker on it, uh, but yeah, you know, is what it is. You get some decent articulation, not like, you know, the hugest articulation, but you know, it works. Taking a look at this guy a little bit closer, he is pretty good. Like I said already, uh, you do only get like one color for like all the armor. Let's take a look at that. Um, it's a gray. But it looks really good. Obviously, the sculpt is very nice all around. This piece looking fantastic. Got some like tassels back here, which look good. All around the belt here looking nice. Then the belt itself looks really good, like a wrestling title belt almost. 
really great sculpt, obviously, all around. You get some uh, cloth down here, a little bit of uh, soft goods, which is cool. Dig that. Oh, some fell off. Um, and that gets like tucked all the way inside the torso, which is very odd. Uh, but yeah, it, it's pretty good. The uh, feet look amazing. The boots. Excellent sculpt there. Kind of in like a, this like gunmetal-ish, which I love. I love these gauntlets. Beautifully done. I love the spikes. The head sculpt looks amazing. Love this helmet. Love that it's all like marked up. Definitely all this stuff looks worn in. If you haven't gotten any Mythic Legion figures, that's par for the course. Really great stuff. And then the face itself looks pretty good. You can't see the eyes. There's no eyes really in there, uh, which is fine. It's just kind of darkened in. But the mouth looks really good. Nice and mean. I love the teeth coming out. That looks fantastic. You can see he's got some like cool wrinkles on his face. Uh, and then the rest of the body looks great in this green, very Hulk-like. If you uh, switched this head out with a Hulk head, maybe with a uh, Marvel Select of some sort, um, you get this really cool Gladiator Hulk here for sure. Love the muscles, looks amazing. Love the texture of the skin, looks great. Nothing really to complain about. You can see the legs, all the muscles look amazing. So yeah, the back. Look at all that. Very, very nice. Really nicely done. Again, no shading or anything like that, you know, but this is kind of you like your budget ogre, and uh, that's fine. I mean, it just looks super, super incredible. Great job. So a real quick addendum here. I said uh, this doesn't have shading, but upon review of some of the footage, you can clearly tell, and I can't tell with the lights because it just seems like it's casting a shadow the way my lights are set up currently in the current space I'm reviewing at. Um, the uh, shading is there on the arms, on the chest here, in various parts, a little bit on the leg. Um, but yeah, it is there. So that actually ups the value of this figure a bit, uh, in my opinion. And um, it is contrary to what I say later on at the end of this video. And for your size comparisons, here's the Ogre Builder with some other figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, this is one sweet figure. Again, very plain uh, as far as paint. You do have paint on the uh, fingernails, a little bit of a, you know, lighter green paint. I haven't mentioned that before. But, you know, what you get here is a, a really cool figure. Uh, a more discounted uh, version of this. Now you can only get this, uh, not only, but I mean, I'm sure you can get it in other places, but you can still get this at BBTS is where I got mine. Uh, when you order from uh, the Four Horsemen who makes these figures, um, when you get in on their pre-orders, they are a little cheaper. I don't know what the original price was of this, but I paid 50 bucks for this and I feel like it's well worth it. Huge guy. Nice, weighty, solid plastic, uh, and a really good looking figure to boot. So there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. This figure is awesome. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I almost forgot what I had to say. Stay safe. Stay home. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.